All right, so the next one they want us to do is this one, number nine. And what we're gonna do for this one at number nine is we're gonna go in and we're gonna draw uh, the big shape. Uh, and typically I would extrude through all of these when I draw the center column, but I am not going to do that this time. We're gonna do this step last uh, because later on it wants us to edit these, which is what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to start right here by drawing this shape and then I'm going to go in and just do uh, the half uh, spherical cones that it wants us to cut out with the revolve tool. So we'll do this sketch last, the holes. Whereas typically if I drew this, I'd draw the center column uh, with the holes in already and I'd extrude them out. Okay, so let's get to it. So once again, I'm gonna be in on shape or back in inches. So create document, uh, this is gonna be 1.2.5. Uh, revolve two, revolve two, okay. And I just want to make sure my units are correct. So they're inch, which is the default, good. And I'm just going to start by sketching that main uh, rectangle. So I'm going to get here, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of rectangle you use, but I'm going to use this kind. And the dimensions for the rectangle, it appears are two, one, two, three by a half. So it's 0.5 by one and a half, and it looks like a quarter. So 1.75, I'm gonna say. Uh, and I'm gonna hit finish sketch on that. And we are going to extrude it and it's going to be extruded 0.5. Okay. So now I'm going to draw the circle on the top or the bottom. It does not matter which. So I'm going to go to the top and do a circle. I want the circle to be in the midpoint, so I get the midpoint of both the lines. They're lined up right like that. And the diameter of the top circle is 1.25. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to select both portions here. And we are extruding that 0.25. Okie dokie. So we've extruded that one 0.25. And we're going to be making a sketch on the bottom one. And that sketch on the bottom one, once again, I'm going to make sure it is perfectly centered. So I'm having difficulty, so I'm going to look at the bottom. So I got the center going that way. I want the center from this side as well. There we go. We got both centers. It is going to be 1.25 as well. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to look at it, my view cube, and I'm going to extrude it. And this one goes out 0.5, so it's a little thicker. Okay, so that pretty much takes you through it. I think the top one I might have extruded too much. 0.25, that's right. Why does the bottom one not look thicker? Oh, 0.5, there we go. So I made an, an error. But we're all set. So the last part for this one is, um, if we looked at this, would be to cut out these holes. Uh, but I'm going to jump that step because what it really wants you to do uh, is do these scoops in these holes. Now we're going to use the same dimension to make the holes, but to make these scoops we have to do a revolve. So we're going to go to these holes. I'm dragging this over. So I'm going to make a sketch on the front plane, like so. And I'm going to draw three holes. And I'm, you're going to learn a constraint today, two constraints. Um, so we're going to dimension the first hole. And then after that, we're going to use constraints for the other ones. Uh, so dimension, so the holes are each 0.25 in diameter uh, and the holes are going to be centered so if you go this way they're all 0.25 okay and i'm just going to uh, dimension their spacing so they should be center on center at half an inch from each other. So center on center, we're doing half an inch from each other for all of them. 
there we go. I want to make sure it's center on center. Uh, and now we can use some tools. So we want all of these to be on the same parallel. So all the center points on the same parallel. So we can use this constraint tool to do that. So you see that lines up all the centers without having to dimension. And then we want them all to be the same size. So we can use the equal tool and click off of the first circle and on the other ones and it will make the other circles equal to the first circle. Very good. Now we actually want to draw a line uh, right down the middle here like so. And we want to trim those circles all in half and the extra line. So that's what I'm going to do. Getting rid of all of this stuff. This is going to allow us to do our scoops. I'm going to finish sketch. And I'm going to look at it from the side. Zoom in a bit. So now I'm going to go to revolve. And I'm going to select, you just need to select the axis on one of them because they're all rotating off the same spot. And now I'm going to go to remove and I'm going to select the region I want to remove on all of them. And as you can see, it goes on all of them. They're all on the same axis. Uh, so you only need to select that one axis. And there you go. A perfectly revolved out cut. So we made scoops. Um, we're going to save this and we will dimension it in the future. Uh, but that is all we have for this one. So this is 1.2.5 revolve 2.